Once again, we've got something slightly different here at the Waterclass Line. Welcome to the Vintage Vehicle Weekend and welcome to In The Loop. After you, gents. <laughs> Over the past weekend, Ropley has been home to the second ever Vintage Vehicle Rally. Exhibitors both from the local area and further afield brought their vast collection of traction engines, vintage cars and more to the station. The weekend also saw the steam train fired up in the yard, three steam trains in action hauling a mixture of passenger and freight and the first run of the Watercress Wanderer. People flocked to the railway to enjoy a ride on the train and to get up close and personal with these amazing machines, both big and small. To find out how all of this started, I met up with Dave, a driver here at the Watercress Line who has been involved with traction engines with his brothers Ben and Tom for most of their life and more importantly was one of the organisers of the event. Dave, thank you for joining us in this favourable weather, let's yes, say. Yes, you're not wrong. Yeah. So, you're one of the organisers of this rally. How long has this been going on for? Um, we, we, we did a trial run of this event last year for the first time in August. Um, it was very briefly put together very quickly. And we got a few people, a lot of the engines you see here were here last year. Um, and it was a nice little social and it, it brought people in. Um, so we've decided to do it again. I say, it's amazing just how many engines have come and a lot of these actually came here under their own steam as well, they didn't did, they? did, yes, quite a number. Uh, what we've done is we, we advertise more to the sort of local local area and a lot of local people were interested in coming and yes, and, and, and they came by road, so yeah. It's fantastic, I mean, there was a couple like um, your one that came a little bit further away on yes, a, we an did. epic two-day yes, we journey. Did. We, we came all the way from Dorset, yeah, right. so we, we did the, a mammoth in total, it was about 60 miles we did, but of course we, we split that over two days, so... I think most people go 60 mile an hour, not going to 30 no, miles a day. It's, yeah, it's more like 6 mile an hour, yeah. but, and that's pushing it, so... I say even just here and coming up the hill, it must just be a wonderful sensation. Half the fun is just getting your engines here, isn't it? That's it, yeah. No, it was fun. Uh, as I say, two days of, of road in, and, and yeah, we had weather. We were lucky with the weather, so uh, it kept off a little bit of rain every now and again, but oh, all in all, it was all right. Yeah, yeah no. But Dave, thank you so much. No, mate. you're it's welcome. It no. really is fantastic. No, let's, let's enjoy the rest of the show. But of course, it's not just steam vehicles which came to this vintage rally. Apart from a fantastic order, we had an amazing selection of vintage vehicles. Some of them bought here by Chris. Thank you for joining us. So, no <laughs> what have you bought with you today? Well, today, I've bought my Morris Minor of uh, 1971 and I've bought my FE35 Ferguson from 1957. Fantastic. And these still run, they're road legal, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, both road legal. So, they both came here under their own power. We brought both of them from Farnborough, so about what, 20, 30 miles away. And they all came over on, uh, on Thursday. I'm guessing. Um, Definitely not taking that one down a motorway. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. <laughs> we'll a little bit, bit, little bit too slow for that. But around here as well, yours isn't the only tractor. We've got a really fantastic selection, haven't yeah. we? From vintage cars to vehicles, yeah, and even an organ. <laughs> organ playing in the background. No, yes, It's indeed. all lovely, really. <laughs> it's just, yeah, fantastic event. Granted, um, the weather's been very on and off lately. Um, but thank you so much for talking to us, Chris. We'll let you get on with yeah, it. No worries, thank you. So, Ed, thank you for talking to us. Um, Obviously, you've brought down a tractor yourself, but you're not part of the Ward Crest line. Where are you from? Okay, so um, we've come down from the Rural Life Living Museum uh, at Tilford uh, for the day, uh, partly to promote our reopening. So we've reopened fully uh, with access to all the buildings as of Wednesday this week. Um, so you can now uh, visit the site as an outdoor attraction and you can go in the buildings, social distancing and masks and things permitting. Um, and, uh, you know, to begin promoting our events programme for the year um, and, you know, be happy about being open again. Um, it's always handy, yeah. I remember when we, when we reopened, it was it's just a wonderful feeling. But you've got a kind of a bit of everything, a, a, a navigated railway and just a mountain of a collection. Yeah, there's lots of stuff going on. Um, the collection is about 40,000 objects um, and it tells the story of uh, country life um, you know, uh, from the 1700s to the 1970s, um, rural impl implements, vehicles, uh, equipment. We have a working sawmill, a narrow gauge railway. There are historic buildings from churches to schoolrooms to village halls. Um, you know, it is the story of the countryside. 
So there you are guys, two places to add to your list to visit next time you're in Hampshire. The Watercrest Line and the Rural Life Living Museum. So there you are guys, something a little bit different and frankly amazing. So guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. <laughs>